Hello Pokies users! In this video we will take a first look at the revolutionary Pokies graphical programming software, the Poblox. Poblox was designed with ease of use in our minds and we are still working hard to improve your experience. Open Poblox application and select the type of your Pokies device. Poblox will take you to a whole new level of device programming. Since it's a graphical programming environment, you won't have to type a single line of code. As it doesn't demand you to write the code, you won't have to learn another language. Programming is done by connecting blocks. Its learning curve is therefore pretty steep. Now let's take a look at the Poblox user interface. User interface consists of menus bar, toolbar containing file operations, program transfer command and program execution controls, block libraries, project or block properties, and status bar. The file menu lets you create a new diagram, load an existing one or save your current diagram to your computer. The edit menu lets undo or redo some actions and duplicate selected blocks. The view menu contains features for advanced users. You can open the code outputs and memory view windows. Tools menu contains various commands that are used to compile and transfer the diagram, open various tools for aid you in checking the operation of the desired diagram, and commands for controlling the execution of the diagram. Since these commands are enabled after connecting to the device, we will take a look at them later on. The About tab shows you the current version of your Poblox software. The button you will be using the most is Check and Transfer. Here the compile and download commands are combined into one click. By clicking this button, the application checks the diagram for errors, then translates it into POIL language and downloads it to Pokey's memory if no errors were found. Let's try it out. Clicking on this button for the first time, device selection window will open with a list of detected Pokey's devices. Please wait a few moments for the application to discover any Ethernet Pokey's devices if these are used. Select the device in the list. The device info section will show you the device name, its serial number, the current time of device's onboard clock and POIL core status. If you haven't used the POIL functionality of your Pokies device before, the POIL core status will show disabled. You will have to enable it by clicking the enable disable button in order to continue. If you wish to use the time-based functionality, schedules, date time block, etc., please insert a CR1220 3V lithium battery into the holder in the device. The clock in the device can be set by clicking Set Time button, which will use your computer's clock. Once connected, the status in the status bar will change from Not Connected to Connected to Device with its serial name. Now you will be able to control the diagram execution. You can restart or reset the POIL core, stop it, continue step by step, which is great for debugging, or run it continuously. There are three additional buttons to the left of these controls. You can disconnect from the device with the first one, select another device with the second one, or enter the monitor mode. The monitor mode will offer you a live view of what is going on in the diagram. As we will demonstrate in the example in the following videos on our YouTube channel, you will easily be able to see how the signal values change during the execution. Shared data slots are like a temporary digital warehouse where we can store values from one place and use them somewhere else. You can view and edit the values in the Shared Slot Manager window as shown here. Task Manager shows us how much the Pokies device is loaded while executing the designed diagram. The task manager also displays specified and obtained cycle times of active and inactive tasks. Basically, here we see how demanding our diagram is for the Pokies device. Below the menu in Poblox, you will find the programming blocks sorted in groups reachable through practical tabs. Blocks library consists of input-output, algebra, logic, memory, trigger timing, extended, control, communication and miscellaneous blocks tab. On the right side, below the Pokies control buttons, you will find the Properties pane. Since we don't have any blocks in the diagram, it shows Project Properties. Here, the following Project Properties must be mentioned. Auto Start. After you determine that your application is working correctly, you can enable the Auto Start option to start the diagram execution each time Pokies device powers up. Cycle Time. 
This value is specified in milliseconds and specifies how much time Pokey's device waits between each consecutive diagram evaluations. For example, if we set this value to 1000, which is equal to 1 second, Pokey's device will run the diagram once every 1 second. Target device Pokey's device families differ in the amount of memory space or supported functions. If wrong Pokey's family is selected on PoBlock launch, or if diagram needs to be used on different Pokey's family device, change the target device family here. Now let's start by showing you how simple it is to start building a diagram. To add a block to a diagram, simply use drag and drop technique. You can zoom in and out using a mouse scroll wheel. To move the block across the diagram, use drag and drop. To duplicate selected block, just press Ctrl plus C, go to Edit menu and select Duplicate selected. To delete a block, select it and press Delete. To delete multiple blocks, drag a square selection area over multiple blocks and press Delete. Ctrl plus left mouse click is also supported. To view the block's properties, left-click to select it. Properties pane will change according to selected block. Here you can name it, set the pin connections and other settings depending on the type of block selected. To connect two blocks, left-click to the output of the first block, then to the input of the second one. In order to connect input of another block to the first block's output, which is now already connected, start the connection on this input and finish it on the existing connection. You can also organize blocks when they are already connected. To delete a connection, just click it and press delete. To insert a constant value, right-click on an empty input and type in a value. PoBlocks diagram follows the guidelines of functional block diagram programming standard. Therefore, input must be connected to a single output, while outputs can be shared amongst multiple inputs. Extended blocks also have a dedicated block properties editor. To open it, double-click on the extended block. PoBlocks software features embedded data visualization called monitor mode. To demonstrate it, we are going to make this simple setup consisting of a counter and two clocks. To activate the monitor mode, compile and transfer your dialog to the PoKeys device, then click on the magnifying glass in the top right corner of the PoBlock software. PoBlock software visualizes the data by coloring the connections and showing you the live values. Counter counts the 1 second pulses activated by clock 1. Clock 2 resets the count and holds it to value 0 for 5 seconds. After releasing it, process repeats. POIL Task Manager shows you how much of processing power is being occupied by the current program. Since this is a very simple program, Pokey's device is loaded very lightly. In order to edit a diagram again, the monitor mode has to be disabled. Before reactivating the monitor mode, the diagram needs to be recompiled and transferred to the Pokies device. If Pokies encounters an invalid operation during diagram execution, a device will enter the exception mode shown by a red exception status. In this example code, we divide by zero on purpose to trigger the exception. When we start the program, the device reports an exception as shown here. If we click on this exception status in Device Controls toolbar, PoBlox will show us the block that most probably caused the exception. In order to save space in Pokey's device, the diagram is converted into a compact PoIL binary code that is understood by Pokey's device and is transferred to the device. This also means that the diagram must be saved to your computer if you wish to open it later on. This is done via standard Open and Save commands. In this video, we took a first view at the PoBlox programming software. Follow us in the following videos as we take a deeper look into wide range of PoBlox examples.